that allows the fluid to drain. The second part is the tubing, which is connected to the third part, which is the bulb. Now going back to this part, the drain, this is really of no consequence, you're not going to see this. What you will see is where the tube comes out. This is very, very important to take good care of. Every two to three hours, I would like you to wash this area. Be sure to wash your hands well first. Clean this with hydrogen peroxide and then put a layer of antibiotic ointment, neosporin, polysporin, doesn't really matter, around this. The reason we want to do that is that this tube, which goes into the depth of the body, can be used as a highway for the bacteria to get down into the areas that we really don't want them to be, because that can cause an infection. By putting an antibiotic seal around this, we can prevent that. Now the third part is the bulb. When the bulb looks like this, it is not working. It needs to be collapsed, and the way you do that is to squeeze it tight, take this little plug and put it into the hole, like that, so that the bulb is collapsed. This is now working. When, again, it looks like that, it is not working. So again, you squeeze this down, you take the wee tab, and put it in the hole so that this is collapsed. Now when there's about a third to a half full of blood or serous fluid, you need to drain it. And the way you do that, again, wash your hands, pop the top off, and if you look carefully at the bulb, you'll see there is a series of rings with numbers, 25, 50, 75, and 100. What you're going to do is to look at the level of the fluid 